you're not the only one who does what you do. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tony R. Sanders back for day two of the 60 Second Stories. Now, yesterday we talked about what storytelling is. I tried my best to keep it under 60 seconds already after day one. I was like, I need to abandon 60 seconds to just give long form information. But we're going to stay with the restrictions, with the challenge of knocking it out in 60 seconds. But please, you know, some people hit me up yesterday asking, you know, how they could utilize storytelling to help grow their business, especially during these times. I had uh, talked to someone that's in uh, an industry that normally does live events. How do I bring that online? And so we're having some good conversations already. So I'm going to keep it at 60 seconds. Plus, as a communicator, it's a good challenge for me to be able to condense my message and to give it to you in actionable, bite-sized points as quickly as I can, right? So yesterday we talked about what storytelling is. Today we're going to talk about if storytelling is a necessity or not. I've seen that conversation happen in a lot too. Obviously, you know, as a personal brand or a business brand, you need to market yourself. But as I mentioned yesterday, there are a lot of a lot, a lot of possibilities out there, meaning you're not the only one who does what you do. <laughs> there are competitors out there. There are people that are do things that exactly the way that you do them are similar to the way that you do them. And so the way that you tell your story, or better yet, the way the other person receives your story on the other end is what will differentiate you. If you're looking for that new job or that promotion, whatever that, that decision maker is saying about you, when you're not in the room, whatever story they're telling others or themselves about you, that's going to be the determining factor of whether or not you get that position, that prospect, that potential client that you're talking to, whether or not they can see you as a solution to their problem. If they're telling themselves that story, that's going to be the difference between getting that new client and not getting that new client. So we need to talk about is storytelling a necessity? I feel like the answer is yes. But let's break it down in 60 seconds or less. You ready? Alexa, set a timer for 60 seconds. Okay, listen. Storytelling is absolutely a necessity. You need to be able to help people visualize how you can help them solve the problem that they have. And if you can't, if they're telling you you're not qualified, if they're telling you that they don't see the value you are, it's not the right time, that means the story that they're telling themselves about you does not match the problem that they're looking to solve. Listen, when I wanted to get into training and development, I didn't have the prior experience, I didn't have the expertise, but I did have some ideas and I did have a way to tell my story to the powers that be. And so when I was working at a company, I started a blog, started blogging three times a week where people can see my ideas about training and development. It wasn't long after that, literally 90 days, I was in training development, training the entire company on how to improve their sales processes. That is storytelling. I had to help them see me as someone who could solve the problem that they were looking for, as someone who fit like a glove into that situation. Help the the employer or the potential client see you as a solution by telling your story. Alexis, stop. Ah. (laughs) It's so much fun. But look, that's it. You have to be able to help people see you in the lens that you want them to see you through. And the best way to do that is by starting to tell your story. Start a blog, start a video series, start writing out your thoughts on LinkedIn, pick up your phone, turn it sideways and record a video. If you're doing it on Instagram, turn it vertical and do a video for IGTV. You have to get your story out in front of people so they can see and start to visualize you as a solution to their problem. Look, if you want to continue this conversation Make sure you shoot me a message, comment under this video, and let me know. Also, in addition to that, if you have a question that you want me to answer on the video, let me know. Shoot me a message, drop a comment. I will answer your question on the video or in a DM or in the comments or however I can. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three of the 60-second story.